That's just a reminder. We've got to take this day by day, like we said last time. Yeah! Come on! This is not a sprint. This is a marathon, and we're trying to do this the rest of our lives, so... Yeah! Jesus Christ. Wow. <sighs> Let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. morning welcome back good to see you again we have got a big upper body day today a really big one um we're gonna be doing a lot of exercises today we've got quite the workout ahead of us so we're not gonna waste a lot of time before we just get into this thing start warming up and get these muscles moving and grooving as you can see from today's workout quite again the intense workout ahead of us here we're gonna be starting off with some slightly decline bench presses. Now, I don't have a bench uh, that goes fully decline, meaning has the leg support, drops down, all that stuff. So what we end up doing is just propping up the end there with like a 25 pound plate. That ends up giving us more than enough of a decline just to kind of hit that muscle slightly differently there with those dumbbells and, and really push some weight with them too. We're gonna be opening up with those, taking some longer rests as we are gonna take them pretty heavy. Putting in a little bit longer of a rest there, two to three minutes before we progress onto some actual um, incline benching. We talked about that before, wanted to do more of that. So we're gonna be doing some actual incline benching here with the barbell and then doing some more bench pressing, but with the lever arms. So we're really gonna make all the use today of the different implements I have, get some good variety in there, get some really good reps in there as well to just destroy uh, the pecs and the shoulders as well. We're gonna be really placing an emphasis on the delts with these as well, doing some incline variations and some closer grip variations as well to try to really drive home the shoulders today and hammer them a little bit harder than we did the other day when we did our push day and didn't put a ton of emphasis on the shoulders at all. Other than that, for accessory work, nothing too crazy here. We're gonna be doing some dips and some pretty heavy lateral swings. Now, we didn't call these lateral raises and I did that very intentionally. When I'm talking about a dumbbell swing, I am literally talking about a dumbbell swing, a weight that we couldn't possibly get all the way up without really heaving it up, but we could control it about halfway up and down. Just like we do with our heavy rear delt swings, we're gonna be controlling those, not letting anything touch, keeping it moving, keeping tension there. And I think you'll find that with those high rep ranges and heavy weights, you can do some serious destruction to those delts just like you can with those rear delt heavy swings. After everything's said and done, we're gonna wrap up with some kettlebell tape presses. My favorite way to hit the triceps with free weights before we wrap up with some lying tricep extensions. We're gonna go all the way to the floor with these and do some tricep extensions while we're lying on the floor with some dumbbells. And we'll do some ab work there in the end as well. Like I said, got a pretty packed workout. It is pretty early in the morning here and also fairly cold, but the gym is warming up pretty well. So we'll see what ends up happening. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can take this hoodie off here at some point in the next uh, couple minutes, but we'll see what the future holds for us. Let's get set up though. We got those heavy dumbbell presses we're gonna be starting with. So let's get go get set up for those. Get our sleeves on so that we can be pressing some heavy weight and keep those elbows nice and warm. Get everything warmed up, lubricated, ready to actually do some work and get after this workout. I'll see you over there. Okay, now that we're nice and warmed up, we're getting these dumbbells keyed up for 125 pounds. That last one we warmed up with was 105 pounds. This is a fairly big jump, but I know we can do it. At least I believe we can do it. All right, got nice and warmed up there. 
That last set you saw was 105 pounds on the dumbbells, and we've got them keyed up now to 125 pounds. That's going to be our working weight. Pretty confident in that. I think it's going to be moving just fine based on warm-up and past experience with these. So we're going to get these things loaded up here onto our thighs, get them under our hands, and start pushing them. Let's get after it. <sighs> That was smooth. It was really smooth. I liked it. So what we're going to be doing with this next one here is I'd like to do a drop set, but I don't have my magnet plates ready just yet. Uh, those magnets are going to be on the way soon here. And when we get those keyed up, finished out, we'll be able to use tens, fives, two and a half pound plates as magnets and be able to quickly and easily do a drop set on these dumbbells, which is what I would prefer to be doing right now. Instead, what we're going to do we're gonna go after our eight reps or so. That's what we're aiming for, is about eight reps on these, uh, on these dumbbells here. We're gonna take a 20 second break, 20 second break. And then we're gonna hit another set immediately. We're not gonna do any, any fluff, any waiting around another longer than 20 seconds. Just do that 20 seconds, come back, hit it for as many reps as we can, and see what we can crank out. Okay, just like that, let's do it. Come on. Uh. Okay, 20 seconds here, no timer, just gonna feel it out. That was probably like 10 seconds, we're gonna do it, let's do it. I don't want these weights anymore. Come on, one more. Oh, come on. Oh. All right, 225 keyed up here. It's gonna be a big one, but we're only going for like two or three reps on these. We're not going anything too nuts. We're trying to figure out, uh, you know, a percentage of a one rep max here. We didn't do a one rep max test on the incline a couple weeks ago, but we're gonna hone this in, see what we can do for about three reps and use that as our, as our baseline figure to establish a one rep max here. Let's get after it. Let's see what happens. My hands are slightly in today. Normally I bring them into about ring finger, middle finger even on the, on the ring here, but I'm, I'm using my pinkies for a slightly more tricep dominant incline bench and engage those shoulders just a little more than maybe I normally would as opposed to my pecs by bringing the grip in a bit. <sighs> Very good. I had somebody come and uh, wanted to talk to me about a situation they'd been going through where it felt like there was just this overall lack of respect between them and this other person. And, uh, and I told them, are you being respectful? Are you participating in this two-way street that respect is? Because respect isn't just implicitly given. It's just not. That's some old tale the boomers told us. But it's just not. You got to earn it. Everybody has to earn it. Now, there's a difference between outright respect and cordial interactions. And I think at the end of the day, most of us need to be and are capable of those cordial interactions. But a lot of us choose to just not be sometimes, to treat people like garbage, like they're lesser than us, worth less, not worth our time, whatever it is. That's not all right. We've got to make sure that you know, we're, we're delivering on this two-way street that we're participating in. Because if you're not giving it, you're certainly not gonna get it. And again, I'm not talking about bending over, giving somebody everything and anything they want simply because they're in a position of power, older than you, whatever, doesn't matter. 
It's got to be earned. It's got to be earned. But the respect's got to be there from the very beginning. And if the respect isn't there, that's just mutual respect. That's just common human courtesy. Got to deliver on that front. All right, let's crank out another rep here. Another set, rather. Uh, I added 20 more pounds. So 245. Really want to get into that two to three rep range here. Keeping these nice and slow and controlled. That's the optim optimal goal here. Good, very good. Okay, 20 more pounds on here. 265 on the incline. You think we're gonna hit it? Say yes. <laughs> I need you to say yes. This might be tough, but we're gonna hit it. We're gonna hit it hard, we're gonna hit it fast. We're gonna take this as slow and controlled as we can though. As fast as we're gonna approach this, we're gonna hit this as slow and as controlled as humanly possible. Really control those reps, get everything out of this for this last set here. Let's get after it. Let's go, come on. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Nope. Nope. Oh, man. Uh, come on. Got some weight loaded up here. What do we got? got? About 230 loaded up between the two arms here. We'll see where that takes us. I'm looking to get some decent reps in here, around eight or so. So let's try to crank that out. I've got the arms uh, angled in a little bit. I want, again, a little bit more tricep focus, a little more shoulder focus here. And I've sat the bench up just a little bit more. And you probably can't tell from this angle. Maybe you can tell from over here on this angle. But I've set the bench up on a little bit more of an incline. Target the shoulders just a little bit more. Still hit the pecs. Um, you know, on these lever arms, it's an imperfect science. I actually have not uh, played with this in a while. Would love to maybe this weekend, but really tried to set the angles um, and, and get them etched into some chalk stickers um, and get them get them labeled up here on my rack so I know where to put it for the incline press. I have it set up for my old configuration where I had my bench actually turned around and I was basically under the weight versus pushing out. Um, I haven't tried to reconfigure it though since I kind of discovered using my arms here as a backstop for something to push against on these outward movements from the rack. But that's for another time. Let's get after this. Trying for eight reps here. Let's see what we can do. came up there a little bit. All right, that keeps it interesting. All right, now in this last set here, we're gonna be doing our normal six to eight reps, but then we're gonna strip away some weight. So we've got 25s on the outside here. We're gonna do our reps, rip those off really quick, get back underneath it as fast as possible, and then just crank out as many more as we can to absolute failure. Uh, we're gonna get, so sets two and three done here with a quick drop set on the lever arms. Let's do it. Snake out from there. Right into it. Come on. That's it. Wow. All right. All right. Let's get set up for these dips. Those machine presses were great. Let's do some heavy dips now. Got a 45 on the belt. Dip stand set up. Let's crank out a couple reps on this thing. I haven't done some dips in a minute, so this will be good. Okay, let's do it. Very good. All right, set two. Let's get set up for these. We're gonna change this just a little bit here. 
And by a little bit, I mean probably actually a decent amount. <laughs> We're going to rotate around here. We're going to come on this side. Now, this isn't going to do anything too crazy, but I want to turn my grip around a little bit, and I want to try to keep my feet out in front of me. That's going to sound weird, but give it a go. Give it a try. It's going to hit a little bit differently here, and I want to really get into that deep stretch, get nice and deep, and at the top, I don't want to be locking out my elbows. I want to be staying in that contraction, getting nice and deep as possible, and bending over enough to really activate my pec. I find that rotating around through these sometimes, through the dips, can really help with that mind-muscle connection and connecting with the pec that oftentimes people have a hard time finding when they're doing dips. They end up using their shoulders a lot, really activating those shoulders. Now, we were hitting those earlier. We're still going to be hitting the shoulder and the tricep, obviously, but by leaning a little bit, we're going to activate the pec a little bit more than we were if we were just sitting straight up and down like this. Okay, let's do it. Feet out in front. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Now in this last one, we're gonna rotate back around. Traditional setup, right? Facing in. Our hands are gonna be angled outward. Keep those elbows a little bit tucked. We're probably gonna come up on ours a little bit here to get a little bit narrower of a grip. Again, playing around with that, it's just gonna hit it a little bit differently every time you're changing it up. So don't be afraid to play around with your grip, play around with the width of things, figure out what works best for you. But even in between your sets, these are this is accessory movement right here. This is all just additional work, homework, extra credit, if you will. So we don't need to be so strict on a specific form. As long as we're ultimately still being safe and we're not doing things that are going to put our, our joints in jeopardy, cause injury, lead to injury, we're going to be just fine. Playing around on these accessory movements, switching it up every set, totally fine. You're not harming anybody. Find what works best for you and works for your body. And stick with it or change it up from set to set. It doesn't matter. It's all gonna even out in the end. It's all gonna be the sum of averages. We try to do as much science-based lifting as possible, you know, using what research has shown us to be effective and true. But what I do know to be true after all these years is that every single person is different. And what works for me might not work for you, and what works one set might not work on the next set. So play around with it. All right, third and final set. Coming in close again on that grip, like we talked about. We're gonna get as close as we can here while still being able to lean forward a bit. Good. All right, we are uh, ready to do some swings here. So we're gonna load these dumbbells up heavy. We're going all the way up to 50 pounds on these because we're not gonna be doing more than this partial rep right here. These partial reps are gonna be perfect, I'm telling you. Trust me on that. High rep range, don't let them come all the way down. Don't let them hit your sides here. Keep them nice and you know flexed out. Stop them from coming all the way down. And I'm telling you, those slow controlled high rep range flies are gonna do some, not flies, lateral raises are gonna do some serious work. There we go. How'd that feel? I bet it was something. Mine was a little bit too heavy. I'm going to take it down to 40. I was at 50. I'm going to take it down to 40. I want to get just a little higher. Just a little bit higher. But really, we don't want to be, we certainly don't want to be coming up to 90 degrees here. You know, somewhere between 50 ish, degree, around 50 ish degrees is what we're going to be shooting for. And then again, stopping it short from coming all the way down. I want to keep it you know, out to about here and control it. Stop it from moving down here, you know, full brakes right at this point. Okay, set two, 40 pounds. That's better already.
Yeah. Very nice. Okay, number three. Uh, last one. Come on. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Wow. <sighs> All right, we were going to we were going to do some weird out flies, but I decided I just want to do some face pulls, so that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. Okay, we loaded up 10 more pounds on there. Just for some extra weight. Oh, that was so good on that first set. Let's repeat it this time. <sighs> Yeah. All right, last set of these. They're really feeling it in those weird doubts, man. I love that feeling when you can really feel them firing like that. <sighs> All right, those were amazing. I, that, that firing of the rear delt and approaching, hitting our uh, traps as well, that is like one of the best burns, I think, in a workout. Just being able to hit that muscle, target it like that. I love that pump, man. I love it. Speaking of pump, let's get these triceps pumped up. Uh, kettlebell tape presses, one of our favorites. I've got 35 keyed up here, and I've done it with a couple extra fives just to make sure that we can lower that weight down should we need to, should the, should the rep ranges become unsustainable, because I really want to be making sure we're hitting our, uh, our RPE 10 here by the time we're done with this completely. RPE 10, again, is going to be no more reps with good form. That is the last one we're able to do with good form. So we're aiming for 9 to 10 throughout all of these, especially 10 on that very last one. Let's get after it. <laughs> Okay, number two. Oh. Nice and deep. Oh. Around the shoulder. Come on. Yeah, oh, that was tough. That was getting tough there. Come on. Oh, wow, that was definitely, 
our, our PE 11 there on that last, that last rep. All right, one more set. Final set. And we're ready. This is gonna be tough, I'm not gonna lie. I thought about reducing the weight down, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. I think if I end up not making it to 12 with a perfect form, absolute perfect form, I'm gonna take off five to 10 pounds on this, drop it down to 30 or 25 pounds and crank out as many more as we can just to completely destroy this. We do obviously still have one more tricep exercise after this, but I do wanna take these all the way to RPE 10. We'll see what happens here. We'll see how we feel. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go to the other side. <sighs> Oh, yeah, that was good. That was good. All right, we're pleased with that. Pleased with that work. So let's get this kettlebell put away and let's do these lying tries of extensions. We're going all the way down to the ground, baby. All the way to the ground. All right, I lied. We're not going all the way to the ground. The reason for that is these damn dumbbells are so long and I'd like to use the quick change ones. I don't want to set up another dumbbell today. So I'm being a little lazy here, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we're gonna be doing these on the bench. It's not gonna be any different though. We're gonna be taking these till they hit the bench. Um, once these hit the ground, once they hit the bench, that's when we're going to bring them up with a really, really, really good contraction. I want you squeezing that tricep as hard as you can once you get that arm fully extended, and then we're controlling it all the way down. Don't let's let it drop. Control it. Fight it. Bring it down. Let's get after it. <sighs> Three sets. Eight reps each. Come on. <clears throat> Good. Set number two here. Up the weight test a little bit for me. Going up five pounds here. Uh, let's go. Squeeze that handle as hard as you can. Squeeze it. Good, that's it right there. Ugh. All right, we got one more of these and we got some ab work to do. So this is where I'm gonna bid you farewell. Thanks for showing up today. Thanks for being here. This was a good workout. This is like the first full workout back at 100% and we're feeling really good. I was reflecting on that last night as I was editing uh, the last workout. I'm feeling a lot better, a lot better. And it's so damn good to be back out here at full health again, not, uh, not really feeling any of that congestion anymore. Still a little bit of something when I wake up, but nothing too crazy. But that's just a reminder. We've got to take this day by day, like we said last time. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon, and we're trying to do this the rest of our lives. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. Back on the cardio. Uh, cardio's feeling good. So we're going to be back at that this weekend for sure. We've got, I think, an arm day ahead of us tomorrow. I'm thinking. It's supposed to be a rest day, but because of the sickness, because of the weird workout week here, I think we're gonna have a little bit of extra volume. So probably gonna do an arm day tomorrow. Just have some fun with it and make sure we get our hour of cardio in as well. So thanks again for being here. Appreciate you. Uh, leave me a comment, ask any questions you got. I'm, I'm here for them. Uh, like and subscribe for the videos. Those, uh, those really do go a long way. And I appreciate the, the those of you who are returning, dropping your comments, your questions. It's been fun, it's been fun. We'll see you all next time. I'm gonna crank out this last set here and do my ab work.